Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com, and today we're taking a look at the HP Touchpad, a 9.7 inch screen tablet. You can get this guy for 499, 16 gig Wi Fi only, uh, 599, 32 gig Wi Fi only. Uh, there is apparently a 3G version coming to ATT in about September. As it stands right now, though, Wi Fi only. So, in the front of the bezel here, we have a uh, camera that you can use for video chat, although um, no camera application that we were able to find on the device. Quick look on the bottom, you see we have a micro B USB uh, port. This is used for charging and syncing. We have a volume rocker on the side. On the top of the device, we have a power button and a uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the other side, we have two speakers. On the back of the device, as you see here, uh, nothing at all except an HP logo. Uh, it's plastic, it doesn't have quite the build quality of, for example, an iPad, uh, but it does feel quite nice in your hand. Uh, underneath here we have the Touchstone charging dock. This is an $80 add-on accessory uh, that will allow you to just dock to charge your touchpad just like that using uh, magnetic induction. Um, you can see here that the device is charging. Now we can get into a little bit of the software stuff. You can see here uh, our home screen is divided up into applications that we have running. So we can pan through them like this, tap any, any app or any web page that we have open to uh, take a look at it full screen. Um, just like you'd expect, you can pinch to zoom in or out, double tap as well uh, in order to fit a piece of text or a picture to full screen. Now there's only one button on the device and it's this button here. Uh, this allows us to at any time touch to go home. We can also swipe up from the uh, lower bezel in order to go home just like this. Now one interesting feature that HP has uh, added to WebOS, here we have a Pre-3, which we can't really talk about because it's pre-production hardware, um, but if we touch the HP logo on the Pre-3 to the uh, button on the touchpad, we enable a media sharing mode. Now it only works currently uh, with websites, so you can basically share a website between the HP touchpad and the Pre-3. And now we'll see this web page should come up on our Pre-3 here. So like I said, this is the only uh, application for this technology right now. Um, but you can assume some of the stuff that you, know, you might be able to do, like maybe touch to tether or touch to share contacts or any number of things like that. So if we swipe up, go home, we can uh, close out a web page or any application that we're running by simply grabbing it and swiping it off to the top of the screen just like this. Let's go in and have a quick look at the app catalog, which was running right there. But if we go into uh, the menu here, slide over to downloads, we can see our HP web catalog, or app catalog, sorry. Just take a second to load up. The one thing I like about uh, the way HP is dealing with apps, it doesn't have obviously the volume of apps that uh, an Android tablet or the iPad is going to have uh, at launch. However, they do deal with uh, apps in a, in a very interesting way. So you can see here Pivot, which is effectively it's a curated um, magazine that you read on your touchpad that will give you insight into some new apps that are coming out, um, you know, tips on how to use apps, top five app lists, and interesting things like that. So if we start sliding through a couple pages here, they explain what Pivot's all about. If we get to the table of contents, we can read through here. Um, let's tap on this one and have a quick read of this article. Now you can see that we're, you know, we're able to learn a little bit, a little bit about the Khan Academy, Salman Khan. We can also tap to install his application. So it's an, an interesting way to bring together uh, editorial and the applications. We can also browse in a more traditional way by just going into categories. So you can see the categories are pretty well fleshed out. If we tap on, let's see, games here. Just take a second to load again, and you can see there's, it's pretty well represented. There's you know, plenty of games that you can play. Um, if we go quickly into social networking, we'll see that your major bases are covered. So Facebook for your tablet, um, Twitter, you can get, add WordPress, and these kinds of things. So like I said, not the huge uh, app library that you'd find on an iPad or an Android tablet, but um, a reasonably well fleshed out list. So that's a quick look at the HP Touchpad. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit Butterscotch.com.